Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I do finally have a review of the Wuxiang 2. If I am pronouncing that incorrectly, I sincerely apologize. But this is a new set of pads from Esports Tiger. They are sold on addisinc.com. I'll leave an affiliate link down below if you guys want to pick it up. Um, but the pad is again in a set of four. This is the East Dragon. This is my favorite visually and aesthetically, but it is a very close call with the West Tiger, the South Bird, and the North Tortoise. The North Tortoise, I think, is a hot second to my East Dragon. I think all of them look phenomenal. All of them look so different and beautiful on my desk and just bring a different level of aesthetic, different level of vibrancy when I am craving a little bit of a change. What is this pad? This pad is coated with what they call the rainbow pearl coating. If you shine a light on the pad, you can kind of see the coating and how it reflects light in different colors, which I think maybe is how they got the terminology for the rainbow pearl coating. But regardless, the coating looks really, really cool under the light and the pads are beautiful. They are three advertised as three millimeters thick. I think they're maybe a little bit under three millimeters and the rubber base is very good. It does not move at all. You can see the pad is not stitched. I don't think that you would want a pad like this to have stitched edges because it is a almost like a hard surface. It's almost like using a sky pad or a Sarah pad or a Shidenkai or Artisan Raiden Glorious Ice. It falls into that very, very speedy category and it doesn't feel in any way, shape or form like a cloth pad when you are using it. It is very thickly coated. Right now, I have no durability concerns, but again, I think that coating will probably begin to fade away down the line, uh, but that is to be determined. For the purposes of this review, I've had it for over a week. I've put hours and hours of use every night on this pad with no signs of durability loss yet. So I do really enjoy the pad. I think it is high quality and just looks beautiful at $34.99. This is a pad that I feel is quite addicting. It was hard for me to want to use other pads just because when you start using this pad, it's so different. It's, it's just so new compared to what I've been using recently with hybrid pad after hybrid pad after hybrid pad after hybrid pad. Um, so you get a really, really unique experience here with the Wuxiang 2. And I know you guys are all dying to know whether or not I feel the pad is good for competitive play, whether it is good for performance purposes. I can say that all four pads have the same speed. They all performed very well in game. I felt fast. I felt good with my correction in my aim. The flicks were quick. The flicks and the tracking I felt stayed on point felt good throughout my Apex Legends session. It is actually, again, it's it's hard to explain, but the pad for me, it, it's almost addicting to use it because it's just so comfortable, so buttery smooth, and just looks so good. But I did notice with smaller mice, a little bit of over-aiming. But I do wanna let you guys know if you feel that over-aiming issue or becoming an issue in tax shooters or other games with small mice, the pro version in black is coming out as well. It adds a little bit more initial static and dynamic friction, making aiming with games like tax shooters, slow paced games with crosshair placement a little bit easier with smaller mice. I never noticed the issue for myself personally with larger mice like the Pulsar x Lite V2, GPX, or the Nijutsu Katana Superlight, but I did want to throw that out there with small mice on the colored versions. There was a little bit of over-aiming, but because of that reduced friction and that buttery feel, it is also very, very fast and easy for me to correct those issues. But it is something to point out. I did have a more enjoyable experience on the colored versions with larger mice. As far as the Pulsar glass skates, the glass skates glide absolutely effortlessly. This thing takes no force to get the mouse moving in any direction. And I like that because compared to PTFE, you just get all of that manual control in a 360 degree radius, millimeter by millimeter under your hand with being able to move without feeling any tug, any resistance whatsoever. As far as PTFE skates, you definitely get quite a bit more um, friction, both static initial and dynamic, but it does still feel buttery smooth. It feels really nice under the pat, under the mouse, under the skates, and is something that with a larger mouse, I felt was more inclined to remain controlled compared to a smaller mouse like the Pulsar X Lite Mini. For my hands, because they are so big, 
having the larger mouse, I just felt so good and so controlled on the pad, either with the Super Light or the Ninjutsu Katana Super Light. So a pad that if you are interested in, keep that in mind, you might want to kind of fiddle around with larger sizes, depending on your hand size um, and different types of skates, depending if you want that manual control, you want a little bit slower uh, friction on the pad, or I should say more friction on the pad. Um, there are ways to get it with this surface. Guys, that is it for the Wuxiang 2. Hopefully I am pronouncing that correctly. I am probably not, but I will leave an affiliate link in the description down below again, as I said before. And if you guys do get the pad, please let me know in the comments how you like it. Again, it is in the very speedy category. It is super smooth if you like that. Um, so keep in mind, if you do need a little bit extra control, please take that away from this review that this is on the other end of that spectrum. It is a extremely good looking pad or set of four pads. And I do hope it looks good on your desk if you do cop one. That is it, guys. I'll see you in the next review. Peace.